Oh, that will be the most satisfying part when you put the part inside and it just disappears. Hey there! Today I'm gonna cut a fractal puzzle. These puzzles are quite satisfying, especially when you put the last piece into the tray and it goes down and kind of disappears. So it's very nice and beautiful puzzle and usually they're quite difficult to solve. But before I'll start making the puzzle, I want to show you my new toy. It is called Alga Laser Delta with 22 watt laser module. How it is better than others, you may ask? It is better in every aspect. First of all, Alga Laser Delta comes pre-assembled, so you don't have to spend a lot of time putting all parts together. You only have to attach the laser module, the X-axis and tighten four screws. Then you adjust all three belts, put the legs and now the machine is ready to do some work. Elga Laser developed a new system to hold the laser. It is a very simple small lever. When you move it down, you can adjust the height of the laser module and once you are done, put the lever up to lock the laser. It is that simple. No screws or sophisticated mechanics that are usually very hard to reach. The focus stick is built in the laser module. Just push on the lever until it clicks and now you can adjust the height of the laser. Once you are done, just push the button, the stick will go up. The Alga Laser Delta comes with a smart air pump and all pipes are already built into the frame. Air pump can be controlled directly from the Alga Laser app, Lightburn and Laser GRBL software. All safety features are obviously present in Alga Laser Delta, including tilt, fire, vibration detection, emergency stop button and key lock. Alga Laser Delta has a 22 watt laser which can engrave, cut and etch across a wide range of materials, from wood and leather to acrylic and more. I'll do some tests in a minute to see how it works. One of my favorite features in Elga Laser Delta is a color screen. You can adjust some settings here, including language, Wi-Fi connection, and even check for firmware updates. Smart air pump can be controlled from the screen as well. But the best part is that you can start your project directly from the screen. Elga Laser Delta doesn't have to be attached to a computer all the time. You can create your projects while sitting in your comfortable chair, then you copy everything to the USB stick and start them directly from the machine. That means that you can put the machine outside of your shop and be far from it so that you don't smell all the nasty fumes that comes from the material when you cut or engrave. And in overall, the Elga Laser Delta looks neat and aesthetically pleasing with those small red details. Now let's see how it works. I'll start from the cut test on a plywood that I'm gonna use for my today's project. It is four millimeters thick. I wanna know a proper settings to make sure my project will be cut quick and well. It looks like at a 500 millimeters per minute speed and 80% power, I will get a perfect result. I don't like going more than 80% power to prolongate the life of the laser module, but at a 100% power, the Elga Laser Delta can cut this plywood at a 600 millimeters per minute. Now let's do some real test and cut something much thicker. This is a 20 millimeters thick wood and I will cut it at a 100 millimeters per minute and 100% power. <laughs> As you can see, the machine almost cut the entire piece of wood in just one pass. That's impressive for 22 watt laser module. Now let's cut my today's fractal puzzle. It will take me about 25 minutes at a speed of 500 millimeters and 80% power. And this is my favorite part. I like to see how laser does its job. So I'll shut up here and give you a moment to enjoy. <music> The result looks great and I'm gonna try to solve the puzzle in a minute, but first I have to finish my review of the Elga Laser Delta. It's a beautiful, powerful and reliable laser engraver and cutter. If you wanna have one, I will put a link in the video description where you can buy it. Thank you Elga Laser for sending me this machine for review. And now let's move to solving the puzzle. I have, uh, I guess, 14 parts here. All of them look very similar since the repeated shape is exactly the same. But some parts are bigger, some are smaller, there are quite large parts. And what's make it really difficult is that there is almost no texture. All parts are very similar, they have this light color, looks like. Oh, looks like I already found a spot for one piece, okay. Now I try to find place for other parts, like this one. Let's see where it can go. Oh, it looks like it can go right here. Yeah, let's try another one. 
Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it will fit right here, but no, it goes over this part. So it doesn't fit here. Maybe not here either. Okay. Oh, maybe it can fit right here. No, it looks like it can, but then it goes over this part again. Oh, this one. Found another piece. Okay. I think that there is supposed to be a piece that will have this kind of V-shape at the top part. Let's see if there are such parts here. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah. Okay. I found a small detail which helped me to figure out the piece. Then there is quite interesting shape here. I guess I have to find a piece that I can fit here. Let's see. Oh, I found it. I found the piece. I guess. I guess I found it. Mm. At least the, this shape looks like from here, but it doesn't really fit. So maybe this is not the correct piece. Okay. Maybe there are other parts that look very similar. I think that it is a wrong piece since there is a little bit of a texture here and it doesn't look like it, it matches the shape. So, okay, let's find some other parts. I got stuck with one piece for a long time. I have to keep moving and try other parts, like maybe this one. This one is quite large. Ooh. Oh, I found a spot for it very quickly. That was nice. Let's see what else I can... Oh, this one. Oh, that was very quick. Okay, what about this piece? Where I can put it? Oh, there, there will be a piece here. Actually, I think that I found a spot for this one. Ah, no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't fit there. Maybe this one. Yeah, this one fits nicely. There is supposed to be a small piece here. Which one is that? Not this one. This one. Okay. Hmm, that was that, that's a little bit easier than I uh, expected. I thought that it will take me a lot of time to solve the puzzle, but actually I'm quite quick. So, oh, this piece goes here. Okay, what about this? Oh, this fits here nicely. Okay, only four parts left. Just four parts and the puzzle will be solved. Let's see, this one fits here, I guess. Yeah, fits very tight. The laser uh, made such a small cuts that sometimes it is very difficult to fit parts inside of the tray. Okay, and the, only two parts. Feels like there's supposed to be more parts than just two. Let's see this one. Probably where it's supposed to be. Here, no. Maybe this piece goes here. Hey, it looks like these two parts are not from this part of the puzzle. Oh, this one fits here nicely. And the last piece, oh, that will be the most satisfying part when you put the part inside and it just disappears. And the puzzle is solved. That was my attempt to solve this fractal puzzle. I was a little bit surprised that I was able to solve it in just 10 minutes. I thought that I would spend at least 30, 40 minutes. Nevertheless, I had fun solving the puzzle and I will probably cut some more fractal puzzles since they're great. You can make and solve such puzzles as well. All what you need is just to buy a decent laser engraver. And if you're looking one, take a look at the Elga Laser Delta. Link in the video description. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time.